What's up? I'm Damien Jade. This is The Morning Drive. Today, I will be reviewing the Hylate Vertex 2. The reason why I'm doing this review is because if you go to the Hylate site, it's very confusing about how things fit. So somebody might say, oh, I wear a large and it fit perfect. Well, what's perfect to you? I am 5'10", I weigh 185 pounds, and I have a 32-inch waist. Now my weight somewhat fluctuates, even if I got up to a size 34, these 32s would still fit. The thing that I love about Hylite shorts the most is that it has this very good double stitch to it. I will say for those of you who are interested, they are made in China. They're designed here in the States by the company. They send the work out to get done by somebody else. So if it fits true to size. I wear a size 32, 185 pounds. So for me, it fits perfectly. These shorts do come in three different lengths. There's above the knee, there's regular, and there's long. I myself prefer the long, and that's what I'll be reviewing. The big thing that I've always found about shorts is what kind of features do they have? The shorts that I've bought in the past kind of have pockets in weird places. When I found the highly short, I kind of fell in love with the placement of the pocket because that pocket is right here along the side of your hip. So when you take something like your cell phone, I have a Razer 2. It's about six inches long, three inches wide. It drops right into the pocket. As you can see, it kind of hangs out just a bit. That pocket goes all the way to the top and then fully zipped, it fits in the pocket like such. So if you have one of the bigger smartphones, this is gonna fit just fine. This is my favorite feature of the short. If you have a smaller phone, I used to have an iPhone X and it fit in here perfectly. The other thing that they have is inside or outside for the drawstring. I like to have mine on the inside, but as you can see here, those holes actually come through. So you could take your drawstring and you could bring it to the front. For those of you who are interested in, you know, having that drawstring in the front, that's there for you, that more kind of board short feel. Overall, quality construction. I like the placement of the pockets. I like the drawstring. And then the next thing I have to talk about is how they feel when you're actually working out. They are a 90% polyester, 10% spandex blend. You would think with that much polyester they would be hot, but they're actually very cool. So they breathe really well. Because of that spandex, it's got a nice stretch to it. And that stretch is really good when you're doing squats and high volume, heavy movements. So I really enjoyed that a lot about it too. As far as the quality construction goes, I can attest to this. I have a pair that's actually in the washing machine right now that I've had for six years. I must have got rid of uh, 11 pairs of Live Store shorts, a bunch of other shorts, gave them to my friends, and then went ahead and restocked my entire fitness drawer with just Hylite shorts. That's not to say that I don't like some of their shorts. They have three primary brands, and I'll be talking about the other two. Uh, because I did buy you know pairs of all of them. This one here is the Vertex. They have the Verge, they have the Helix. One of them I like and one of them I don't like. This kind of brings me to the value segment of this and a kind of a comparison of other shorts. I didn't like the Livesore shorts. I used to be a brand ambassador for them, so I don't have anything bad to say about them as a company. They're a great company, but their shorts, they have that Velcro front, and if you don't tighten down the Velcro. It's sticking to all of your clothes when you set it in the washer. It's a real pain. Didn't like the placement of the pockets. They had one that was like high up by the pelvic bone and then they had one that was like on the side down by the thigh that was just too small for anything really. They were okay to wear out and about as far as if you were like taking a hike or you're doing something like that and you want to keep things in your pocket. It, it just wasn't a good way to do it. You know with the Hylite, the big selling point here is the fact that it has that zipper so if you are like on a run up in the mountains or anything, you don't have to worry about losing your phone. And a lot of these shorts, they don't have that pocket. They don't have that zipper. And if they do, it's always in an awkward location. They found the perfect placement for a hip pocket. And that's what I really enjoy about Highlight Shorts. As far as value comparison, to me, there is really no comparison. Liz Store Shorts will run you $50. Shorts straight from Reebok, from the CrossFit site, they can be $65 to $80. You know, you talk about Virus and Lululemon and things like that. They're all in that higher dollar range. I've had almost all of those shorts with the exception of maybe virus those are the only ones that i haven't bought i can tell you that out of all the shorts that i have these are the most durable shorts and at the price point that they're at 
you really can't beat it. For most of you, that price point is going to be really confusing. If you go to their website, they have a retail price and then they have a high leap price. If you're going to their site, you automatically get the high leap price. Retail denotes that maybe you could go to a retail store and pick up high leap. I have never gone to a retail store and seen their gear inside of it. What I can say is though, that price discrepancy is kind of huge. So it's kind of off-putting when you see it. It's $68 at retail, it's 56 for their highly pricing. Uh, if I found it in a retail store, what would keep me from just ordering it online? The other thing that I will say is, is that they do offer discounts to veterans. There's a 20% off discount. And then I would also like to add that they have up to 40% off if you join one of their teams. And the way their teams are set up is that they have a team for uh, trainers. So if you have your NASM certificate, you can go ahead and show them that certificate and you get 40% off. If you are a active duty military member or you are a veteran, you can join that team and that will also get you 40% off, which knocks these shorts all the way down to $41. And to me, by far the best value for what you're getting. I have a pair of the original Vertex shorts that I've had for six years and they are still just as nice as these. Like there is no distinction between the two. So for you to go ahead and buy them, you can feel comfort in knowing that they are gonna last you a really long time. They are going to look just as good as the first day that you bought them. $41 is an absolute steal. I believe that it's the best out of the three, mostly because of value. There's another short that I like just as much as these. It's because they're almost the exact same short, but I'll talk about that in another review. That's all I got as far as price, value, compared to other shorts. I really feel like buying these is the best thing that you could do for yourself. There is a lot of play in the waistband. If you do get larger or you do get smaller, these shorts are still gonna feel great because of that blend of 90% polyester and 10% spandex. They're just gonna stretch and they're gonna be fine. Heavy lifts, they're gonna be good. Um, it, you don't have to worry about getting too big for them um, as long as you're honest with your initial sizing, I think. I would say that if you got smaller, that might be an issue just because of the drawstring. I know that sometimes if I tighten it really tight, um, it kind of has that tendency to bunch up in the front, but you can kind of cinch it out and it's, it's fine. So if there are any questions or anything like that that you want to ask, please drop it in the comments below. I'm more than... Uh, happy to answer any questions that you have about it. If you have anything specific that you want to ask, drop in the comments. If you want to follow me, uh, you can follow me on the snaps, the tweets, and the grams. That's at Damian J. D A M I A N J A Y. Also, get a written review of this at uh, themorningdrive.co. If you want to see a written review for it, it will be there. Also, I will leave a code down in the bottom for 20 to 30% off of Highly stuff. The way I feel about Highly, I don't care. If you want to use the code, use the code. I feel like you're getting quality with them. If you can get an extra 20 bucks off, use the 20 bucks. If somebody else sends you a code and you wanna help out a friend, use that 20 bucks. I say 20 to 30 because sometimes they run specials where it's 30. I know that like right now they're running a special where I get 30 for every 20 you save. Um, if you spend over $150, sometimes they'll give you something free. Sometimes it'll be like an extra t-shirt. Sometimes it'll pay you a pair of underwear. Sometimes it'll be like a pair of sports underwear. I've kind of run the gamut of things that I can get. I've gotten all of that stuff. I will be reviewing that here on the site too. Anyway, before I sign off, kind of stand up, let you see where the shorts fit. Like I said, I have a long and then we'll go ahead and end the episode. Thanks for following me. Please click subscribe. Please share it with your friends and I'll go ahead and show you how these shorts fit. So as you can see, the longs come right down to the knee, that side view right down to the knee. And then as far as the waist goes, it fits nice and easy on the waist.